mainstream media lies, you are all brainwashed slaves. That is so true. House of Christian Ronaldo. House of Lionel Messi. House of idiots who are fighting over who is best, Messi or Ronaldo. Private firms given 9.2 billion of NHS budget, budget despite Hancock promise. The amount of NHS budget going to private healthcare firms has reached unprecedented levels. Despite the Health Secretary pledge to roll back outsourcing of patient care, the Department of Health and Social Security handed a record total of 9.2 billion last year to private providers such as Virgin Care and the Priory Mental Health Group. Its annual report shows that is an increase of 14% from the 8.1 billion that was went to profit-driven healthcare companies in 2014-15 and 140 million more than the 8.77 billion they received in 2017-2018. You see, they tell you all this shit, I'll be, I'm for you, and then they go and do the exact opposite because they're nothing but lying in it for themselves, self-serving wankers. <clears throat> Sex, sheep and terror, the scandalous theatre of Milo Ray. He has put an ISIS fighter's mother in the Gwent Alta place and restaged a murder. Now the Swiss director plans to get radical. When Milo Raw, if that's how you say it, first saw the Gwen Alta piece, one detail leapt out at him with Herbert and Jan van Eyck's 15th century masterpiece is often admired for the ambi big, ambitious scale of its lamb and god scene the swiss theater director zoomed in on adam's sunburnt hands they are red because the model came directly from the fields to be painted he says the morning after the premiere of his new altarpiece inspired production lamb gods it's all of a collective process made with common people it is a philosophy Rao is attempting to apply to an institution he has long desired as an elitist and preoccupied with the classic in the city theatre. Search for planning permission application for 5G monopole masts, Bristol City Council. So Bristol City Council have decided they're going to start depopulating Bristol first of all. That's what you need to know there. What to know if a monopole is going up to go up in your community and wish to oppose it. There's a link there. So all these links in the description. There are currently 188 pages of application pages pertaining to the proposed installation of monopole masts across Bristol. There's another link there. Image below is a, for a new monopole mast to be installed on Newfoundland Road. Do not write in to oppose this mast being installed in a local community. Do write in to oppose and there's another link there and another link there and if you have a look in the description you'll see the, the post there where they're putting the saying they're going to be putting up these murder masts. Now this is a two-parter. Search for missing teen led to discovery of mass grave beneath the Vatican. The mystery of Emmanuel Olandi, who vanished 36 years ago. Thousands of bones were discovered below the Vatican on Saturday, and investigators attempt to solve the mystery of a 15-year-old girl who disappeared 36 years ago. Emmanuel Olandi's family representatives, who have been searching for the girl since 1983, were present at the Vatican when the containers holding the bones were unsealed. And as, as I said, this is a part, there's a two part of there because there's two separate links to this. Search, search for missing teen, Emmanuel Olandi, leads to recovery of bones at the Vatican. Bones were collected from at the depth of the Vatican Saturday. Uh, the latest effort to solve it, the mystery of a 15 year old girl who vanished 36 years ago. Representative of the family of Emmanuel Olandi, who was, has been searching for the girl since she went missing from a street in the centre of Rome in 1983 where the Vatican at AM local time when the container is holding the bones were unleashed. 
more uh, no, no. Emmanuel's sister Frederica re represented her family along with their lawyer Laura Sagro, Sagro and a forensic expert G G Giorgio Portilla. They remain there for six hours. Obviously, it's an ex emotional experience because I think my sister's bones could be there, but I won't let uh, think about it until we have the results. Frederica Orlandi said. <clears throat> Top MP, or oh, Tory MP, Charlie Elphick, charged with sexual assault against women. Tory MP Charlie Elphick has been charged with sexually assaulting two women. The Conservative MP for Dover has told, today be charged with three counts of sexual assault, the, the Crown Prosecution Service said. Elphick, 48, will appear at Westminster Magistrates Court on September 6. In a statement, the Crown Prosecution Service said it thought had brought today's charges against the MP after reviewing a file of evidence from the Metropolitan Police. You see, they're all at it. They get in there so they can get away with abusing women, children, you name it, anything they think they can get away with. Lib Dem politician says schools should suggest prostitution as a career. And there's a picture of the wanker Dennis Parsons. Now, what that should take you, you should t get from that is they think you're nothing but a whore. That's all you're good for, to go and sell your body. That's what Liberal Democrat thinks. Councillor said schools could suggest prostitution as a career choice for pupils at a party conference. Dennis Parsons, chairman of the Cheltenham Lib Dems, made the offhand suggestion after special sessions in Brighton on sus uh, s sex work. The father of five said school career advisors are currently not allowed to mention prostitution as a line of work, then added, why shouldn't they? This is the sort of sick, dirty, pedo, prostitute-using shits you got in Parliament. And it's not just him, they're all bloody at it. We all know it. Chaos, as Tories vow to jump ship if Boris Johnson becomes Prime Minister. First thing I'd like to bring your attention to here is the use of the word chaos. Because of course they're going to be, it's going to get more chaotic as we get closer to the end now because they're trying to make it chaos so that they can bring in their new world order out of the chaos and start depopulating us a lot quicker. Bucky's favourite Boris Johnson is set to pocket 700,000 from the sale of ex-marital home ahead of expected party exodus. Boris Johnson is expected to take the helm of the floundering Tories as, uh, on Tuesday as Britain's career careers into an almighty storm. If he becomes PM, a string of colleagues are set to resign from the Cabinet over his pledge to steer forward a no-deal Brexit. Well, how about they can all piss off anyway, because none of them fit for purpose. Not a single one of them. And as the Iranian crisis deepens, Defence Minister Tobias Elwood admitted the Royal Navy is too small to protect British ships. The mirror can also reveal Mr Johnson is set to for a huge windfall after receiving an offer of his, on his 3.75 million former marital pad. Boris Johnson is expected to walk into his new home at number 10 Downing Street this week having banked a huge windfall from the sale of his property. And of course that means absolutely nothing to him because he's a, a, a millionaire anyway, an Etonian me millionaire of course. MP shares tweet saying abuse victims should shut their mouths for a good for good of diversity. And there's a picture of her. So that's what they think of you. If you've been raped in care, you should shut your mouth. A Labour MP has been criticised for sharing a Twitter post telling Rotherham sex abuse victims to shut their mouths for the good of diversity. Naz Shah, probably related to some of the paedophile gangs, I wouldn't be surprised at all, who represented Bradford, almost definitely involved with the pedo gangs, shared uh, and liked a post tweeted out from a parody account of, of newspaper communist Owen Jones. Take a good look at her, Naz Shah. Almost certainly part of the paedophile network. And of course she's in Parliament, so of course she will be. Express. Giggles, George's birthday George. Dame versus Vera's TV licence anger. Star blast treatment of elderly. 
Telegraph. Johnson, Britain must fire up its sense of, miss of a mission. Veiled attack on Hammond over permission about Irish border. There are few tasks so complete complex that humanity cannot if he uh, uh, have a it's in italic so it's really difficult to read and there's the parasite again Iran crisis could inspire sleeper cells to launch UK terror attacks piss off that means that the government are going to be signing terror attacks more terror attacks should I say mirror a seagull stole my chichawa Three Lion King, yeah. Bad news for Britain. All at sea. Brexit chaos as Tories vow to jump ship when Johnson is PM. Iran Navy is unable to keep UK tankers safe at... admits Minister. The Guardian. Ministers vow to set debt down and thwart no deal Brexit. Home DNA kits must be regulated, say doctor. Possible loss of majority in common ad adds to Johnson problems. I'm sure I'm not going to be sacked because I'm going to resign before we get that point. Bring on 2020 in England, take World Cup consolation. The Times. Royal Navy too small to counter Iran threat, admits ministers. Collapsing grassroots support for Corbyn. Two in five party members want leader to quit. Air traveller has to be hit by carbon charge on all tickets. So no, more theft by the government. Just theft after theft after theft by the criminal government. Metro. Parasite. Hammond. Exit. I'm not sure I'm not going to be sacked because I'm not going to quit because I'm going to quit first, says Chancellor. Are you ready for the Moroccan heat flare? Moment Iran hijacked uh, one of our ships. Dash and charge, carry. Aye. Hammond, I won't, I'll, I'll quit rather than work with Boris. What will the Queen think? A protocol problem if Johnson becomes PM this week. UK accused over Iranian tanker crisis. Former Tory leader says seized seizure of British ships was a major failure and raises questions about military deployment. Government to respond today with fresh sanctions with Iran warning that they would be dangerous and unwise. The Iranians say they took the British flagged Stena Impero tanker as a re retaliation for the seizure of one of their vessels in Gibraltar. Sounds perfectly fair to me. Hammond denies government took eye off but the ball, but Defence Minister admits Royal Navy cannot cope with Gulf threat. The truly remarkable rehabilitation of Naomi Campbell. Spectacular garden photos. Britain to bake this week. Back to the moon. US plans take shape. Never went in the first place. They may have been since, but certainly not in the ships that we know about. Teachers need protection from parent emails. Swinson favourite to be next Lib Dem leader. This scum. Hammond to resign if Bojo wins. Royal of the uh, Parasites again. London Bridge exclusive. I see face of terrorist in our girl. Wife's anger at evil hubby. Waste of paper. Vine, my strictly crush. Psycho Seagull stole my dog from garden. Bird flies off with Chichawa. Gizmo. Mora Shark. Parasite. Knock Storm. FT. Cut to the core. Dutch Bank big day of decision. It's, they're going to crash and it's going to start the next financial crash. Dutch, Deutsche Bank. Fed poised to lower rates for first time in decade with cut of 25 BP. Uh, Bridgewater's top fund wrong-footed by recovery in global stock market. Shipping sector grapples with Iran seizure of tanker. <clears throat> and finally, I think this actually speaks for itself, so therefore I, I'm guessing I don't need to uh, say anything, but if for those that perhaps can't see, it's waiting for 9.15. 
The pill that everyone wants but can't seem to swallow. Truth. And I'll leave you with this. <laughs>